Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. We finally found them. We found them. We have been on a quest forever to find the real good, what is it? Real good breakfast sandwiches. Breakfast sandwiches. Yeah, I want to say real good pizza, but these are the real good breakfast sandwiches. And we'll see if they're real good right, right after, after this. this. So if you're new to our channel, welcome. Like I said, my name is Joe. And I'm Rachel. And we're Two Crazy Ketos. And here on our channel, we like to do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews like we're going to do today. We talk about various keto topics. And then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you are subscribed, don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So we have been on a quest to find these real good breakfast sandwiches. We've tried other stuff. We've tried other stuff. We tried the pizza. Not, not a, a fan. fan. We tried the enchiladas. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Wasn't there one other thing that we tried, or was it just the enchiladas? That was it. We have purchased... The poppers, but, but we, we haven't, haven't tried, tried them, them yet. yet. Yep. So, but we kept getting text messages and emails from like real good companies saying like, hey, they're available in Publix. They're even buy one, get one free. Give Go our get them. things a shot. All lies. Like I kept going into Publix. They never had them. It's Maybe been a they were month. Just out of stock. They no, I went to six different Publixes. None of them had them. But they finally did get them in. Okay. So we picked them up and we're going to try these. Totally redeemed themselves, but yep. they weren't buy one, get one free. They were not buy one, get one free. Yeah. We'll get into the price a little later. So we have two different kinds. We have, these are both made with cauliflower cheesy bread. Okay. So we have bacon, egg, and cheddar, and we have sausage, egg, and cheddar. So let's take a look at, we'll look at the ingredients first. All right. So oh, I've, long. I've got the sausage, egg, and cheddar. So we've got ingredients, cauliflower bun, which is made with cauliflower, mozzarella cheese, pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt, and enzymes. Okay, that's clean. Yeah. Parmesan cheese, and which is, oh, wait, they're breaking this down. Okay, so that was, the cauliflower bun is made with is cauliflower and then mozzarella cheese, which is made with oh, okay. pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt, and enzymes. Then it's also made with Parmesan cheese, which is part skim milk, cheese culture, salt, and enzymes. Then almond flour, coconut flour, dried whole egg, liquid whole egg, sodium bicarbonate, tapioca starch, xanthan gum, and then there's sausage, which is made with pork, water, salt, spices, dextrose, and sugar. Then you have egg, which is a whole egg, water, whole milk powder, soybean oil, salt, xanthan gum, citric acid, and then you have cheddar cheese, which is pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt, enzymes, and annatto for coloring. Now, the only thing that I have different, because all of my ingredients are the same. Except for the bacon. Except for it's bacon, and their bacon is cured with Walt, Walt, Walt. water, and Walt? salt. It's a water and salt combination. Water and salt, okay. Water, salt, sugar, smoke flavoring, sodium phosphate, sodium erythrobate, and sodium nitrate. Okay. So the ingredients aren't super bad. I mean, so you're looking and seeing sugar and dextrose. That's like in the sausage or in the bacon. Um, not super keen of why they're putting soybean oil in the eggs. But they're not they're not great ingredients, but they're not bad ingredients. Better than probably what better you're going to get. Better than most of what. Better than probably even going to like Wawa or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, just so. getting like a grab and go. Okay, so calories. One sandwich is 390 calories, 30 grams. That's a nice way to start your day. 30 grams of fat, 12 grams of saturated fat. It is 18 grams of protein, so it's much higher in fat than protein. I like that. And uh, it is six total carbohydrates and four grams of fiber. So that's two net carbs per sandwich. So this one's a little bit different. This one's much less calories if you're don't going with the bacon. Sausage. Yeah, sausage has got more calories and fat. So for the bacon, you're looking at 240 calories. Okay. Um, and you're looking at 16 grams of fat and 16 grams of protein. So this one is even, whereas the fat's Now again, it's that. even in fat grams. It's yeah. not even, so that's probably about 65% fat. Yeah. So the total carb carbohydrates are six grams in this, four fiber. So you're also looking at 
two net. Carbs. I'm kind of impressed. Number one, that they're not like they're not high protein like a lot of their stuff. Yeah. So let's take a look at these. That's actually a decent size. That looks like you know the little breakfast sandwiches I used to buy for the kids before they so go to school. That's the wrapper. I, I'm gonna. Look. So that's actually not a bad size. No. Little small, not quite as big as like an egg McMuffin. Yeah. But well, probably just there. Just there. I feel like the egg McMuffin has shrunk over oh, the years. Oh, absolutely. Has I don't think it's just because my little child hands have grown into adult hands. And no, everything it's definitely looks shrunk. It's probably it's like shrunk. equal to the size of what's inside of the egg McMuffin because of yeah. course you know like on the egg McMuffin or something like that. The outside McMuffin is always a lot bigger than what they're putting inside. Yes. So let's do this. Let's, we're going to go heat these up. Okay. And then we'll each have a half of each one. That's good. Because like it is Saturday. We usually do some kind of breakfast on Saturday anyway. Yeah. So we'll make this our breakfast for the day. Nice. So let's see. It says um, from refrigerator when this is coming out of the freezer. It says wrap in a paper towel, heat for 45 seconds, flip the sandwich, heat for another 45 seconds. Or it says, pro tip, place only the sausage and egg on a microwave-safe plate, microwave for 45 seconds, then rebuild the sandwich with the cheese and cauliflower bread, place on, place on the plate for another 25 seconds. Well, I like the so pro we'll tip. So we'll go to the pro tip? Yeah. Okay, so we'll be right back. Let's go make these. Okay, we're back. So it took a little bit longer than 45 seconds, though. Maybe our microwave is wonky. No, it's a brand new microwave. So it took about a minute and 25 seconds. I want to give them the benefit Before of the doubt. Before we show you what it looked like cooked, though, we wanted to show you what it looked like deconstructed frozen. So that is, let's cover our faces. So that is like the cauliflower piece. And then you've got, that's the bacon. And then you can't even peel the cheese off the egg. And then you got the cheese and the egg. Yeah. So. The bacon looks very much like a McDonald's sandwich or Burger King. Actually, it looks yes. more like the Burger King one. Yep. That okay. kind of like circle of bacon. So I'd say right off the bat, here's the bacon one. And then here's the sausage one. Sausage one looks way thicker. It does. Is it me or no. is the bait? The sausage one looks like it has more egg in it. Oh, yeah, it does. Like a lot more egg. Yeah, it does. That's so. funny. Okay. So you are not allowed to put salt on this until after the initial taste test. All she's right. grabbing the salt. She's got her salt right here. I do. And she's like going to grab it. I'm like, you cannot put salt on it. We have to give this a taste test with no salt. Nice. After you take a bite, then you can put salt on it. All right. Let's what are do you this. doing? Don't you want a fork and knife? Aren't these supposed to be meant for like on the go? Well, yeah. But, but who's going to try to put a fork and knife in the car? Maybe I am. You never know. God help us. Please don't drive on the road if Rachel's around you. I'm not putting on my makeup. I'm just having a meal with a fork and knife. Okay, which one are we trying first? Um, I want to try the sausage first. Sausage, okay. I'm going to get it like a sandwich, so I'm getting all the little pipe pieces together. The sausage isn't bad. The sausage isn't bad. It definitely tastes like cauliflower. Yeah. Like it tastes like, I mean, in fact, when we opened up the package, like while it was in the microwave, when I opened up the microwave, I'm like, boy, you can smell the cauliflower. Yeah. It has a very- It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not, it really isn't bad. It's definitely better than the pizza. It's yeah. definitely better than the enchiladas. Let's try the bacon one. So I don't really taste a lot of bacon. I taste the bacon, but it's like any other on-the-go bacon sandwich. Yeah. Like you go to Wawa. Like I used to get like the – they have like the regular sandwiches right there. And I used to just get them and throw the bread out after being on keto. Right. Um, or even going to McDonald's and getting a bacon sandwich like a, and a bacon, egg, and cheese. The bacon is like rubber. Yeah. It's not like nice crispy bacon like you would have at home. So it's to me, it's like any other bacon sandwich. The bacon one seems drier to me. It does. I'm going to now eat it like I would actually eat it, which is I deconstruct everything. Yep. So now you can eat. put some salt on if you okay, want some salt. Okay, thank you. Yes. So. Definitely the cauliflower. The like the, there isn't any you definitely, seasoning. You definitely other taste than the, the cauliflower. Sausage. I mean, it, honestly, I'm going to say they're not bad. Uh -huh. I mean, they're they're like any frozen 
like breakfast sandwich you're going to buy. It's nothing like making it fresh. No. Right? It's like any other frozen breakfast sandwich. So, so we probably put into this, what, two minutes yep. to make this. What is a two-minute thing that you could It'd be interesting make? to see if we could somehow duplicate seeing all the ingredients because it looks like all the ingredients really are is cauliflower, almond, fl almond flour, coconut flour, and then mozzarella and Parmesan. Yeah. So I'm going to try to recreate th these little bread pieces. Mm -hmm. It's very similar to like a cauliflower crust pizza. Yeah. So you want to put this through our five things? Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, um, we do all of our reviews based on five criteria. We're going to go over the ingredients. Right. Does it keto based on the nutrition label? Um, how does it taste? How much does it cost? And would we recommend it? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So number one, the ingredients. The ingredients aren't bad. They're no. for, for a processed food yeah. item. They're not bad. They're not the cleanest. I mean, there is some dextrose in the sausage. Yeah. Uh, there is some sugar in there. Uh, but they're not like super bad. I, it's not. It's, it's not something that I would say like, oh, absolutely, don't have that. It doesn't have like IMO fiber or any, any no. that kind of garbage or anything like that. In it. So number two, does it keto based on the nutrition label? That I can definitely say yes, it does. It yeah. absolutely ketos based on the nutrition label. Both of them are higher in fat than protein. Very low carb. I mean, for what you're eating, you're eating cauliflower. I mean, it's only two net carbs. Yeah. You know, I'd venture to say it's going to be very hard to find a breakfast sandwich that has like some type of a bread thing for two net carbs. Especially like the sausage one with a lot of, you know, good fat yeah. in it. So yep. like to start your day, like even you said, when you noticed it, it was like, ooh, this is a nice yep. boost. So uh, number three, how does it taste? Okay. So the sausage tastes good. Like if they sold the sausage separately, like in just a sleeve of sausages, I might buy them mm -hmm. knowing that the ingredients were clean. The egg, I was going to try the egg again. Tastes like frozen egg. The frozen rubber egg. Mm -hmm. So again, you know, if it's at all possible for you to just throw an egg on the, on the um, stove, if you could get the sausage separately. Well, here's what I'm looking at. I'm looking for convenience. Yeah. Okay. If you're somebody who was used to buying like the Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches, I think you're right in line. Yeah. It's same flavor, same taste. I, I mean, it's not worse than them. No. You know, the only difference is if you like cauliflower pizza crusts, you're going to like this because the cauliflower definitely comes through. The cauliflower comes through, but it's not the most delicious. But we don't make a lot of cauliflower crust. pizza crust because okay. I always taste the cauliflower yeah. and I just don't want to taste the cauliflower in my pizza. Maybe that's what it is. But uh, there's a lot of people who like the cauliflower crust. Well, then if you're going to, if you like the cauliflower crust, you're going to like this. Yeah, I, I definitely think you will. And I definitely, honestly, between the two of them, I think the sausage is better. I think Way the better. sausage has more flavor. It doesn't seem as dry, probably because there's so much fat on that sausage and it's just coming in with the sandwich. It's of the two. I mean... It actually seems very seasoned. Yeah. Right? Like it's seasoned. The other one is, is really not seasoned. And again, you can even look. I mean, this, you would think this is the sausage. This is actually the bread. That's, That's the, bread. the cauliflower bread. So it's not very thick. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of like a placeholder. Yeah. So um, number four, this how much is, does it cost? This is. This is where you're going to be like, ah, oh, absolutely not. Right. <laughs> so we got these. They were not buy one, get one free, but we bought them for you guys. <laughs> We bought them for the sake of this channel. Anything for you guys. It was $8.99 a box. And how many are in the box? Four. So that's what? $2.25 per sandwich. I guess that's not horrible. You're like... You're about like gas station price. It's not as good. It's not... I, 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 I guess it's, I want to say it's not as good as a gas station. It's not as big as a gas station sandwich. No, no. And so, I don't know. I usually can get the gas station ones for even cheaper than that. But you're not quite sure what's in the gas station No, sandwich. you're absolutely right. It's still up there. You still have to cook it yourself. I mean, you're if you're going to the gas station, if you're going to McDonald's, it's because you didn't even want to heat something up in the microwave, right? Right. You know, so now you're saying I've got to pay the same price that I'm going to pay at McDonald's, but I still have to go to the store, buy it, put it in my freezer, heat it up, right? Yeah. I think they're expensive. I think they're really expensive. It's I don't think that it's something I would buy just because there's enough like 90 second mug cakes or bread that you could make. There is like you can buy pretty clean 
sausage patties and just have them like on the ready, mm-hmm. just a sleeve of them. And then that together would be like, you're done. Right. I can make an egg pretty quick. And that's what I'm, I'm going to go with, you know, not everybody is like us and cook. I mean, you that's don't right. even cook, right? That's right. I yell at you when you make eggs sometimes. I said, I, I will, uh, I put the pan too hot. Right. But if you, and if you have a pressure cooker, you can make like sous vide eggs in the pressure cooker. They have like the Starbucks kind of things and have them ready to go. But if you're on the go, like this would it's be. It's not super bad. Like I can see like being, for example, keto con. Yep. If you don't have a hotel with a kitchen, like we've got like maybe just. They just have you've a microwave. You've got a little refrigerator with a microwave, like running to the store. I would run to the store and get this and maybe like on a trip or something like that. It's yeah. where I can just throw it in the microwave. Yeah, my mom and um, son Caleb are planning a Washington D.C. trip this summer. And she got like a little kitchenette in their like little place that they're staying. And I could see this being like a perfect, just easy, not a bunch to clean up after. Right. You know? So, I mean, I think it's pretty. I mean, okay. I have to say, they can't be that bad. We both ate them. Yeah, we ate them. We normally throw this stuff out. Yeah. So, and I don't think it's just because we're hungry. Because I have like an entire brisket cooked in our refrigerator. Yeah. So, I mean, good. So, number five. Would we recommend it? Of all the real good treats there are would, out there so I would far, recommend it. If you're a person who just wants to have something in the freezer for like on the go. Like, I need a grab and go item for like a backup plan. Yeah. I could see, like, I would probably keep them in my freezer if it wasn't for the cost. Yeah. Well, and I mean. If this was more, maybe a buy one, get one free, I would buy two or three of them. Yeah. Just to for stick in the freezer. Not so much for me, but more for Caleb. Because I don't usually eat breakfast anyway, but if, like, Caleb comes and helps me with work or something like that. And he just gets up in the morning. You know, he only wants to stop at the gas station and just get a breakfast sandwich or something like that. Well, you know. I'd much rather him just eat this. So the buy one, get one free, which Publix does all the time. Yeah. I would say absolutely. And I would also reach out to the manufacturer because a lot of times they if you just. They have all the if time. If you just like ask them, just write them or text them and just say like, hey, I'm interested in trying this sandwich. Do you have a coupon that I could use? Yep. Most of the time they will. Yeah. Um, Give you a coupon. And their, but their website, if you go to their sign up for their email, they send coupons all the time. They yeah. send coupons that both you can use in the store and they always have like. They even have fifty percent off deals on their website. So yeah, you just so have to buy a certain amount, and because it's shipped. But I wouldn't soon. buy like you know a case of fifty no. until you've tried it and you nope. like it for yourself. Nope. So. so yeah, so overall, I would recommend it. There's yeah. nothing really bad about it for me. It's just cost. But we always say that like I'm not going to not recommend something because I wouldn't spend the money on it. Yeah, we, our recommendation is based on would we put it in our body? Absolutely. And, and we obviously ate the whole thing. We put it all in our body. So. So that is our video for today. Hopefully we've helped you guys out. I absolutely will agree. Like this this one, I agree with the other keto YouTubers. Yeah. That this one's actually not bad. Yeah. The best I agree. one that we've had from real good so far. So yeah. If you like what you saw, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to yeah. it. And until next time. Bye. Bye. There's a fly in here again. They're everywhere. I don't know where they're coming I from. I feel like we live oh, wait. in a farm. Ooh, did you get it? Where'd it go? I don't know. I thought I got them. Probably right into your Bulletproof coffee. It's okay though. There's no carbs. There's no carbs in flies. All protein. You're disgusting. Yeah. You should drink my coffee now. No.